be ready. Everyone seems to be ready except for cats, so hopefully all their colors are similar. Axlav choosing the red this yeah, time. Ca did go cats and Druby did swap again between that blue and light blue. <sighs> I'm wondering if they're doing that just to frustrate you or not. But Tarsonis Assault, it's another Blizzard map. It's not one of our new custom maps. It is one that all these teams should be very familiar with by this point. And we do have Complexity Cats as the light blue Zerg down in the bottom right area. His teammate, again, going to be Complexity Druby as the blue Terran. On the flip side, we've got Evil Geniuses Strife Crow as that yellow Zerg and his teammate EG Axlav playing as the red Terran. And you should know, Axlav, normally a Protoss player in 1v1, but back in the beta and actually for a short time into retail, Axlav was actually one of the best random players in mm -hmm. all of North America. So it really doesn't surprise me that he's got an affinity for Terran, especially in this 2v2 tournament where Zerg-Terran is just a very, very potent combo. Absolutely, and it's good to note that all of these teams are in the money now, so this uh, they do pay out places 1, 2, and 3, so congratulations to all three of the remaining teams. Right now, we're just fighting to see who reigns supreme, as there is a $750 first prize, and I can't wait to see who is going to capture that. So, Druby going ahead and putting down his own gas there. He has not put down any sort of barracks yet, so he may be rushing for a little bit quicker. Um, a little bit quicker, Banshee, this time around, are going just for those fastest possible Hellions. Cats has gone for the same supply, went after a 9 pool into a into a 9 extractor as well. Now just going ahead and continuing to produce drones here. And look at this! Axlov with the proxy barracks and Strife Crow. Well, this pool is actually not... I mean, it's early, yes, but it's not super, super ridiculously early. It's going to provide a little bit of rush ability, and they, th and I think that they'll be able to actually take advantage of this and pressure Cats at the beginning. May actually throw him off his game for once. I'm wondering if Axelab will actually take off and land inside of Cat's base, since that Overlord is sort of in a strange position, and the one that shot straight north is already way past that area. He could effectively land inside of Cat's base, mass up 10, 15 Marines, and then try to try to drop the hammer. Uh, he actually is pretty fortunate here that he's actually closest to Cat's base uh, since he's not going to be able to wall off without the help of Druby. So Axlav is going to come in here, see the creep, and really all he's checking now is that spawning pool timing and that gas timing. Um, he's going to see that's really all Cat's has and that's really all you can expect out of him at this point. But he is just doing the normal land route with his Marines. Obviously that's to join up with Strife Crow's first uh, onslaught of six Zerglings. Two SCVs in tow as well to perhaps provide some bunker shenanigans. It looks like he tried to make one there already and didn't quite manage it, but uh, the queen already getting involved posturing here at the edge of the creep, trying to defend its drones and lings. Druby appears to not have anything available to come help. He's only now getting a factory, so the queen is going to jab at some of these lings that are attacking the spine crawlers. Strife Crow already, actually cats, excuse me, already looking to be in a little bit of a weak position here against this rush. Yeah, absolutely, and both these marines have survived so far and have gotten a couple of kills apiece, and right now cats is trying to put up the spine crawler as quick as he possibly can. One of these is going to be denied again, but this other spine crawler is going to get up and we'll see if that's going to be enough defense for cats to hold this off he already has lost quite a bit and has had to commit over to a bunch of links much more than he would have liked we do have ooh, looks like drooby he is putting up hellions but he is going to those banshees as quick as possible and here we go uh strife crow and axlov are actually going to come back and attack into this there is the starboard it's going to make a tech switch here in just a second but for the time being drooby does not have all that much just a couple of hellions sitting here in the mineral line I think this is a good decision by Axelab and Strife Crow, uh, preventing Druby from getting that Banshee, because if a Banshee pops out and all their anti-air is made up of Marines of varying health levels, that'd be really bad. But all these SCVs getting popped off the line, uh, looks like Axelab and uh, Cat, uh, so blah, blah, blah. Axlav and Strifeco are going to be held off by Druby and Cats. Cats did manage to get enough lings out, and this spine crawler is doing its job with the Impaler Tentacle, <laughs> jabbing away at that bunker, and one SCV cannot actually repair a bunker fast enough to stand up against a spine crawler. And I'm curious to see where these players are on tech, or I'm sorry, on supply at the moment. It looks like still Cats and Druby have a pretty significant supply advantage, and now here come all of the Hellions. 
and that is going to put an end to a lot of these early uh, aggression shenanigans. Wow, Axlov and Strifecrow are going to get held off. Uh, do we have gas out of Axlov? We do. He's only built four barracks for the time being, though, so it's not like he's aggressively teching. We do have, uh-oh, Banshee number one about to make its way out. There are no sort of anti-air other than this queen, and that Banshee should be able to deal with just one queen. If he takes that down, though, all ten of these drones are going to fall and quick. Only ten drones at this point in the game. Even Katz has more than that, I believe. And this, I mean, he's got... He's just looking good here. Uh, Jerby and Katz held that off very well, despite losing a couple of spine crawlers and some lings and things. That's really all that they lost. And uh, having this Banshee in here now, picking off that queen as soon as it can. Now the drones are under fire, and Strife Crew always losing these workers in the early game. Definitely not helping anything. There are a lot of Marines and uh, lings still alive, but these Hellions, of course, do extra damage to light units, so he's going to stand up just fine. I think the spine crawler inside of Katz main should be good as well. And Strife Crow suddenly has 50. 15 minerals and zero drones and that basically means it's all or nothing at this point they are attacking into Druby's main but these SCVs all on auto repair trying to keep these Hellions up as long as they can if one more Banshee pops out here uh, may be able to finish off these Marines cats coming in with some lings of his own and it looks like that is gonna be it for this game and probably for this series here cats um, yeah, their Stripe Crow really has nothing possible to do now in this game, and Axlav is losing SCVs very, very quickly here to this 18 kill Banshee right before it explodes there over the mineral line. Yep, and Strife Crow is unfortunately going to lose his hatchery as well. Not what you can do about that. The queen did fall down here. Strife Crow cannot reinforce with any sort of units whatsoever. He is not getting any resources from Axlov as well because Axlov really doesn't have that many spare resources. Um, in addition, so he is at 27 supply. That includes the meager number of marines that he has, and he is going to rally back now to try and save this hatchery, but the damage has really already been done. Gats is doing a nice job with creeps right now. Going to start sending that out so he gets these spine crawlers in a more defensive position it looks like that banshee did get cleared up but not before the hatchery goes down to less than 400 points of health axlov now putting up stim he is still fighting he is in this it's going to be a uh, a long road for him and very difficult to come back this 2v1 position is something i'm familiar with in star jeweled but in a 2v2 <laughs> of actual starcraft 2 games looks pretty daunting uh infestation pit and burrow both coming for cats Druby just adding on, a, what is that, a second gas now? Did he actually lose a refinery at some point? It's in the production tab. Well, well he, he must have been just working off of one gas the whole game, I suppose. But pathogen glands coming up now for cats as well. Um, this Banshee hard at work again inside of Axelab's main. This is Banshee number three or four, I believe, but uh, more than 20 kills between those three Banshees and yeah, Drewby's still just doing some damage, even though there is a turret in the mineral line just finding the sweet spots. And now Katz has arrived at Axlav's proxy barracks. Going to be able to chew those to pieces unless they lift off. There they go. Actually, he may not even... There oh, we okay. go. I thought it was going to start burning. I know, I did too. Um, let's see here, though. This Banshee going to make its way back. It's going to catch a Hellion here in the middle of the map, trying to do some damage. Oh, dual Banshees <laughs> arriving at just the right time. Can't catch a break at all, and now we see a bunch of Marines being rallied in along with a couple of Marauders and some SCVs, so maybe some sort of an all-in push here. Uh, 14 EG, he has a lot of resources, so I'm surprised he didn't give any to his teammate to try and start rebuilding his economy. Drewby going to back off with his Banshee, he already has three kills on it, going to get a fourth. Wow, so he's already picking apart this army. Already we see Cats putting up a spine crawler inside of Drewby's base. See if Team EG decides to run into Cats base instead. Nope, they don't want to take on those spine crawlers head on, and I think that this is going to be the end of the game. I don't know, man. Marauders are pretty good. Oh, there's a big old fungal on uh, all of those oh, Marines and Marauders, no. and as these units die, up comes the GG from Strife Throw and Axelab. Huge congratulations to Complexity Cats and Complexity Drewby for 3 0 Team EG in the winner's final. Uh, next up, we're going to be seeing EG Axelab and EG Strife Crow playing against FXO Optic Zero and Dignitas Select. That is Team Sup Suns. And they'll be playing for the honor of entering the grand finals in that lower finals matchup. Yep.